everybody welcome back to stitch by stacy as promised this week i am going to be working on a christmas project i'm going to be making a few of these for my online shop as well as some markets that i have coming up soon um i am going to be making patchwork aprons and i'm going to take you along for the journey in case you decide you want to make one for yourself or make one as a gift um actually before we move forward i have to show you something look over my shoulder i got a new sewing machine my other one, I was working on a project last week and it slowly started, it, it started having issues. And I knew for a while that, you know, it's time was coming. And although I will repair it eventually to keep as a backup, I have to admit, I was really excited to have a reason to buy a new machine. So haven't named her yet, but I do have a new machine. So I'm very excited. All right, well, let's get started. So I was looking, I was going through all of my fabric stash just to see what kind of Christmas fabric that I had. And I have all of this different, these are different scrap pieces that are, they've been left over from last year, maybe the year prior. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Cause you know, I hate to waste fabric. I mean, we all do, but I also love patchwork. So last night I took this stack and I made myself, whoops, where is it? I made myself a little template and started cutting out all different colors of little squares. So let me show you where I got to so far. So I cut a total of 34 squares and that's to make the adult size apron. This particular pattern is called the easy apron pattern and it's by uh, scattered thoughts of a crafty mom from 2018 and I will listen I want to make sure I link this in the bio you actually will get an adult size and a child size actually I think two children sizes which is great so if you want to do like mommy and me aprons it'd be so cute for Christmas now you'll see on the back of here <laughs> there's a bunch of writing I use this pattern as you can tell a lot it is well loved now the adult size is great but if you need more if you want to make it a little bit bigger for like plus size what i do is i add an additional two inches on this side and two inches on this side so that when i lay this pattern on the fold you get just a little bit a little bit bigger apron so you will get more coverage like i like mine a little bit bigger because i want to make sure i cover up as much of my clothes as possible because i don't want to get you know splatters all over me so first thing, if you're going to sew along with me, get your squares cut out and then start sewing together all of your squares across the top of the pattern. I did five across centered them over the bottom four uh, rows. The four bottom rows have six, the two top rows have five squares. So let me show you that one more time just so you can kind of get a feel of what you need to do and how you want to lay them out. Okay, so there you can see right across the top, the top two rows have five each and they're centered over the bottom rows, which have six squares each. So that way, when you get them all sewn together and you lay it on where the fold will be, you'll have plenty of fabric. Now I'm going to sew these together at probably three eighths of an inch. So get your square sewn together and meet me back here. Okay. So once you get all of your rows sewn together, you can go ahead and press each one of them if you want, or you can simply just finger press them open the seams, which is what I did. I just finger press them open. So I'm going to start with my top, the top two strips and I'm just lining them up. I've got them all pinned together. Okay. Just try to make sure that your seams line up. So that's why I have each seam pinned. So now start sewing your strips all together as one big piece of fabric and then give it a really good press and then meet me back here and we'll continue on with our Christmas apron. Okay. So I got all of my squares folded together. So now I need to give this a really good press and then we'll cut this piece and the backing piece. 
with the pattern. Oh, and by the way, I gave the wrong math earlier. It's 40 little squares, not 34. I don't know where my head was, but yeah. So it's 40 squares, and these squares are approximately, let's give you a size. You can do any size square that you want. These are roughly four, four by four squares. So yeah, 44 by four squares. If you have bigger squares, obviously you'll need less. So now let's all go press out our patchwork and get this folded in half, cut out the apron front and the apron backing, and then we'll meet back here. Okay, so I got it all nicely pressed. Now, before I lay this out and put the pattern piece on and get it cut out, there's one more step that I'm going to take, which is completely optional. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. I'm going to pick a decorative stitch on my machine, and I am going to follow the seams and just put decorative stitching around all of them because I just okay, want so to. So I've given this a really good press. As you see, I've got it laid on the fold. And now I'm just going to cut this out and then I'm going to lay the pattern out again with this material, this is the lining material, and cut it out again. Okay, change of plans. If you look at my cutting table, you now see a darker green fabric. And that is because although what I had worked I just wasn't feeling it and I so yes I took a break and I ran to Joann's uh, just because I really like this better so now what I'm gonna do with this is this is gonna be the back side or the lining side of the apron plus also the deep pocket piece that goes across the front of the apron which I will decorate with some of my extra fabric squares so I'm gonna get this cut out and then I'll come back I'll be caught up and then we can move forward Okay, now as you can see, I got both of the pieces cut out in the green. So this will be the backing. This is the pocket. When you open up, this goes straight across the front, and then you can either cut it straight down the middle or you can cut it in thirds, and it gives really nice deep pockets. But I want to decorate mine before I put them on because I do have extra of all of the little fabric squares that I had already cut out to make the apron. So first thing I want to do though, you're going to actually take, as soon as I find my, go ahead and lay this out. If you can, there we go. You're going to lay that out with right side up. And then you're going to take your patchwork part of the apron and you're going to put right side down. So you got right sides together now the first, there we go, just get it all lined up and then pin, and you're going to want to put a few pins in it just to pin it together. The easiest thing to do is to sew all the way around here first um, and leave a gap at the bottom, okay? About, you know, I don't know, five, four or five inches so that you can then turn your apron right side out. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to give it a quick press and then I'll show you how to, I'll decorate the pockets and then I'll show you how to finish assembling your apron. Okay. So as you can see on the table, I got the apron all together and I'm just kind of laying out and organizing or kind of playing around with how I want the front pocket to look. This pin here and this pin here is where I will be stitching straight down. So mine will have three pockets going across. I am thinking that I'm going to just use my picking shears around the edge of these and then sew them on with like a decorative stitch. And I think I may also add some red rickrack going across the top like that. I mean, it kind of makes you think of, I don't know, kind of makes me think of a gingerbread man in a way. I like that, but definitely want that. But let's talk about straps and ties. There are so many different ways that you can do straps and ties. This particular pattern, just so you know, does come with, along with the pattern, it gives you um, 
pattern pieces for you to lay out on the fold for both around the neck and for the waist ties. The other thing that you can do is where the and I do this often too, if you like thinner, like neck, some people don't necessarily like a really thick strap around their neck. Um, you can also use double fold bias tape of any width. I tend to use the uh, single fold uh, double, let's see, this is the extra wide double fold bias tape. And I think that's what I'm going to do this time, mainly for the straps. I am going to make a green um, to match this for the neck but for the ties I'm actually going to line all the way around here and then have the ties come off so that then this really blends in I think or I may go all the way around here and have them go straight out so we shall see but anyway I think when it comes to decorating it's really about you personalizing it the way that you want. And I'm just kind of like throwing out some ideas and, and showing you what I think I'm going to do. So I am going to get started on this. I'm going to... So I have finally finished the patchwork Christmas apron. Um, I, I'm really... It's on my mannequin Betty right here. I'm going to show you in just a second. I think there's only one more thing that I might add to it. And that would involve another run to Joanne's. But I'm not... I can't do that today. But I think it'd be cute to add like some little Christmas decorative Christmas buttons to like where the the neck piece attaches. So we'll see. Um, but give me just a second and I'll show you the apron. And here she is. I'm very happy with the way that she turned out. These down here, these are the deep pockets. There's two. So if you know you need somewhere to put your cell phone or something while you're cooking and getting ready for Christmas dinner, you have somewhere to keep all of your essentials. But I do think that I'm going to make that run to Joanne's the next couple days and get some just little pretty Christmas decorative buttons to put right here. I think, you know, some candy canes would be really cute. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to make a patchwork Christmas apron. I will be back again next week. Um, I think what I'm going to do is show you how to make these patchwork covered. Well, these are pictures so they're little photo albums and then also how to do patchwork covered journals and date books so anyway i will see you next week thank you so much for joining me don't forget to subscribe and happy sewing